Well, hey guys, what's up? What's going on out there today? It's Brent Abel here at webtennis.com. Another episode of What's the Right Shot. And I got a couple things for you today. Number one, in this episode, um, we're going to talk about serve intended shot choice, right? Direction, where you want this thing to go. And uh, kind of how I think about it. Anyone can do this. So that'll be thing one. Then thing two is I've got a message after that for you. Um, about uh, shot choice that uh, I want you to listen to. So uh, let's get started with this. And look, you know, the first thing I do when I'm thinking about my serve shot choice, and you know, it's either it's either going out wide, it's going to the body, or it's going down the tee. And then it gets into well, what's the you know what's the shape that we want? What's the trajectory that we want over the net? And so. Once you once you consider those things, then the big deal is that you've got to just commit to it. You've got to stick with it. For me, I'm probably going towards the body a good 70% of the time. And, and down the tee, 15%, and then out wide, 15%. Now, this is a first serve. So for me, um, you know, it's probably going to be more body and tee than a second serve. And a second serve is going to be most of the time it's going to be um, out wide, right? So, but look, so here's here's the way I think about the body serve. Number one is I assume it's coming back because I'm not going out wide where there's a chance that that opponent won't be able to reach it. I'm not going down the tee where there's a chance that that opponent won't be able to reach it. No, I'm going towards the body. And the reason I'm going towards the body is to try to tie up stroke technique, right? I want this opponent over there to feel like they've got to move themselves out of the way to be able to play, whether it's going to be a forehand or whatever, you know, backhand, whatever they choose, but they've got to be able to do that. But still, even if they don't, it's probably coming back and that's okay. And so if you look at my court position right here, what I'm thinking is, look, if I hit this serve where where I want it to, um, which is going to be to the body. And the chances are, if it comes back, again, assuming it's coming back, that's okay. I might get a short ball. And what do I want to do with a short ball? What do we all want to do with a short ball? You're right. We want to take advantage of it and be able to do something offensive, whether that's to play a simple approach shot, maybe it's to play a drop shot, or Maybe it's just a standard rally ball, but whatever it is, you've got to be looking for the possibility of a short ball when you serve to the body. So I'm going to take this back. We're just going to go through it in real time, and I'm going to show you what happens here. And before we do that, I just want I want you to think about at least what I think about with target. So when I think about target, I've now committed, as I just said, I'm going to go to the body. And when I think about it, I don't think about a landing spot over uh, on the, or inside the service box. I think about a spot above the top of the net that would equate to a landing spot that would equate to going towards the body. I want to bring my target in as close as possible so that it becomes more tangible. And for me, if I think about a, a little window above a spot here, above the, the tape, above the top of the net. That's such an easier target for me to hit, to think about, um, and to visualize as I now have got that, that, that spot above the top of the net. And now as we go up, right, we don't see the spot, but in your mind's eye right now, I'm looking at the ball and I'm thinking about that spot above the, te- above the top of the net, and that's it. And look, you got to be committed to this thing, right? Too often, and I've done this, a thousand million times, if that's even a number. I've told myself, we're going to the body. I got my target. And what do I do? I go, no, let's go T. No, let's go out wide. Just stay committed. And the more you train yourself to to, to stay committed to shot choice, um, the better things are going to work out. All right, here we go. In real time. um, And this is what, this is what happens, right? is you tie up stroke technique and, you know, it's it's better than I anticipated. I mean, how often do you 
do you play a serve to the body where it just literally doesn't come back like this? <laughs> Rarely, right? So that's an unintended opportunity. So guys, here's what I want you to do to practice this is, yeah, I want you to get out there with, you know, a bucket of whatever, 30, 40, 50 balls, and just put, put a spot over here, right, that you think would equate going to the body. What, you know, a target. Could be a bag. It could be a towel. could be anything. But I want you to be thinking about what's the spot above the top of the net that equates to the ball going uh, towards that target. And just hit, you know, I don't know, hit your 30, 40, maybe 50 serves. I wouldn't go more than that because you don't want to, you don't want to do any damage to the shoulder. But that's a great way to practice it. And um, I hope this, I hope this has been helpful. All right, hang in there. I got a quick message here for you coming up right now. Well, all right. Hope that episode of What's the Right Shot was helpful for your serve in terms of shot choice, committing to it, sticking with it. And uh, I love to go to the body a lot. You might try that if you're not doing it. And you'll definitely have to change your mindset in terms of likelihood is that the ball's coming back. That's okay. But as you saw in this uh, episode of What's the Right Shot, sometimes it doesn't, right? But you're always ready for that short ball. Look, let me give you the definition of what I think confidence is, and that is when you've trained your brain to trust your shot choice. And that was big in this point right here that we saw today, right? I used to, as I mentioned, I used to put the toss up, and too, way too often, after after picking out a target, I would change my mind, either during the motion or looking up at the at the ball, you know, the finish of the toss, and go, no, I'm going, I'm going to, now I'm, I'm going out wide. The confidence level just takes a little bit hit down. You don't want to start the point that way. Not only does that have the same effect when you're serving, but also during the point, right? I mean, eventually you want to be able to trust based on your unique personal playbook. For example, a rally ball forehand, top spin, semi top spin forehand. Trust your shot choice. If, if I mean, for... For me, my staple big time in play semi top or forehand rally ball, I'm going into the ad side only because I like the ball coming from my opponent from that part of the court. Just works out better for my game. You might be different, but too often what I used to do is I go, okay, well, I'm going into the ad court with as I'm as the ball's coming into me, and then the last time I go, no, nah, no, nah, I'm going somewhere else. And I just found that over time, if I would just stick to my initial instinctive shot choice and then just commit to it and stick with it, it just worked out better. No, it's not a guarantee. Nothing in this game is a full-blown guarantee. But I just found that if I had either too big of a laundry list of shot choices uh, and or I choose one right in the beginning and then switch at the last second, nah, it just didn't work out as well. So um, hope that's helpful. Look, guys, Speaking of your serve, uh, I've got an uh, offer. I've, I've got a service that might be helpful for you. It's a 30-minute one-on-one coaching private video analysis call to session. We use StreamYard like Zoom. I just like StreamYard a whole lot better. Um, and we're going to go over your video. You're going you're to send me two videos. Number one, a short little 12, 15-second video, which is of your serve, where the camera is directly behind you. You can use your phone. Um, and then the other one is going to be the same thing, just maybe three or four serves where the video is placed along the baseline where I'm looking right down the baseline at you. Then I get a nice angle of where your toss placement is and some other things. Just send that to me and uh, we'll spend 30 minutes going over it. And I'm going to give you, you know, any kind of a fix it plan, a practice plan that you can leave with so that, um, you know, you've got something, an actionable plan that you can take away from our session. I'm going to record it. And, uh, and, and then send it to you so that you've always got uh, something that you can review. You won't have to take notes uh, during, during, our during our session. There is a fee for it, um, but I think you're going to find it's really going to be a valuable, um, a valuable investment in your serve. Could be a different stroke, but we talked about serve today, so maybe, maybe that would be a great spot to start. So the way that you can get signed up for that, and then you can also pick a date and time that works best for you, Go to webtennis.com forward slash video dash analysis and you can get started there. Guys, 
I enjoyed this today. Hope you did as well. Hope it was helpful. As always, it's time right now. We got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.